Hello people of Earth, this is Dan Lockhart of the Ride of the Valkyrie, Dan Lockhart YouTube channel. And today is Saturday, March 11th. I just got done uh, blowing a path out for the boys out here on the back. Uh, we got about a foot and a half or two in the last 24 hours or so. Uh, hey, where are you guys going? Get back out. No, stay. Stay out here. Yeah, this is where we're at in the back right now. Uh, my little snow pile right there is all the way up to the eaves. And it's still coming down. This storm is a uh, nationwide storm. Affecting the whole country from west coast to east coast. There's the little boys right here. Hi boys. Hey. Yeah. You know, they had to go to the bathroom really bad this morning because uh, they got cooped up last night. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of other issues that are going on right now, too. That uh, my pickup is in the shop, and I'd actually had planned on trying to get it back before now. And I had a five gallon gas can out in the back of my pickup. And I needed to pick up some more fuel for my snow blowers. Yeah, burned through 20 gallons of fuel so far this winter. And it's really weird. The day before the storm, we had, uh, you know, it was sunny and beautiful and 30 something degrees. And, uh, but, hey, hey, hey. It's, hey, 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 Mackie. Mackie. <laughs> Mickey likes to play in the snow. Yeah, I had, had all this snow on the shed here. I had all that cleared off. And now, as you can see, there's at least uh, maybe a foot and a half up on top there. And Karen's planter box is here. That's what this big mound of snow is right here. Hi, Pete. Hi, Petey. Yeah, that's what we got out back now. Our spruce trees are just about covered up completely now. Yeah. But I tried to keep the path back here clear for the boys. And I have to really keep it off of the fence lines because if it builds up on the fence lines, they could easily climb up over that and go escape. We wouldn't want that to happen. Yeah, this is the other garage, the back garage here. You'd see it it's almost up to the roof there. Another couple of feet. Yeah. yeah I gotta let the boys back in because they, they want to go in. Mackie's very excited again. I'll let the boys back in, then we'll walk around the front real quick so you can see what we got going on. It's pretty amazing. What's the big one, huh? I don't know. I blew the driveway off last night, and then I did this patch right here this morning. If you don't get ahead of it and try to keep some of that off of there, you'll never get out of here. Now, our property owners association has a, a service. Uh, you can see that my problem area right there has probably got a three foot drift up on that top part of the roof up there. But, uh, and check out our grill here. That's probably got two or three feet on it right there. Yeah, I was saying our property owners association has a service where if you sign up for it, uh, they'll come around and plow your driveway for you. And uh, I got this one machine that they use, uh, Bobcat with the snow blower on the front of it. It has its tank treads, and that thing can go through anything. Yeah. But we haven't had to use them for years because I normally take care of business myself out here. But, it's not super cold.
Yeah, now this drift out here, this berm off the driveway, that's probably nine feet high now. Let's take a quick look at that. I don't want to walk down there because I'll be walking through a, a lot of snow. That berm is huge now. And my best advice for people would be, if you don't have to go out, don't. <laughs> Yeah, if you go out in this, I can guarantee it, you're going to get stuck. The plows haven't even done the road yet, and usually by now they've been out quite a few times, but I haven't even seen them once. You can see the, uh, the snow is coming on off of the roof over there. And curling down in front of that window up on top. I'll take you back inside so you can have a look at that from the inside. It's pretty freaky what it does. It kind of comes down then it curls off the end of it. But uh, man, check this out. Even from my last video that I published. And I was standing out front here and it was a bright blue sunshiny day. I said that that berm was five feet tall. That one's now, uh, I'm going to guess probably seven or eight feet tall. Yeah, so this this storm's affecting the whole entire country from what I've heard. California got hammered like uh, out in heavenly. Yeah, they're expecting this to be a uh, nor'easter for the East Coast where my son Nick lives out in New York. Uh, and the difference out there is it gets way cold. So uh, I hope they're okay out there. Yeah, you get cold here, but yeah, you can see the see the wind blowing up there, causing that huge drift. Yeah, that one's coming down over the window too. Yeah, I'm glad I, all winter I've been clearing out this section on the other side of our back garage here I've been blowing that out because if you don't you're going to end up having to clear the uh, windows and I've done that before and that's definitely not a fun job it took me two or three days to clear those windows before that snow presses up against them could cause them to cave in. That would not be a good thing. But I'm almost ready to say this is the most snow that I've seen since we've lived up here for 10 years now. Pretty amazing. That means the reservoirs are going to be full this summer. I heard uh, California has come out of their drought situation because of these storms, so that's a good thing. I'll take a peek down here, down across the patio. Look at that. That's wild, huh? Yep. We used to get storms like this where we lived in Littleton. We'd get a the big storms that come in, they dump two or three feet. So, wherever you're at in Colorado, you're not immune from this. These are the windows. This is what it looks like from the inside. You see how it's curled down over the top and covered up this window here. That's a pretty big storm. I don't know if it's 
the, the biggest storm that we've seen up here, but it's it's only one day old now. Here's another one. Oh, this is what one I was pointing at outside. Yeah. And it quit snowing. I may have to get out there and try to knock those things down. Well, that's it. I just wanted to share with you where we're at. So, in terms of riding season, I'd say uh, we probably have a few more days to go before we're going to be able to get the Valkyrie out. But I'm very. I'm very much looking forward to that. Plus, I still want to do some more skiing. And, uh, yeah, with this kind of snow, you think ski forever, but the resort closes like the first week in April, so uh, we've only got another few weeks to go here. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel down below. Give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Have a great day.